So let's just dive into debate number one on the news hour tonight, straight up without much further ado. Good evening to all our panelists this evening. Lubna Sarwat, Dr. Lubna Sarwat, social activist joining us from Hyderabad. Renuka Sane, actor joining us from Mumbai. Good evening. Maksudul Hassan Kasmi, president of the Imam Council of India, joins us from the studio in Delhi. Zafari Abjiliani, lawyer and member of the AIMPLB, All India Muslim Personal Law Board, joins us from Lucknow. Good evening. And Sayyid Inayatullah, President of the Indian National League. My first question to Renuka Sahane. Is it, not, is it not shocking that the platform that calls itself the platform for thinkers and writers from across the globe, the greatest literary show on the earth? The organizer of the Jaipur Lit Fest, Renuka Sahane, says, and this is as per he said to the business standard, I'm quoting this. They expressed their anger. I heard yeah. them out explained we supported minorities in every way, underscored that we are a platform for all points of view, agreed that we should consider their request not to re-invite them. Them, in this case, is Taslima Nasreen and Salman Rushdie. What do you think when, when somebody says this, when Sanjay Roy, who claims to be the platform for free thinkers and writers across the globe and the greatest literary show on earth says, yes, we will succumb to the pressure from certain right wing elements, Renuka Sahane. Um, it's absolutely abominable, I think, because, uh, you know, um, I think uh, there are very few spaces where you can uh, discuss ideas, even if you don't believe in them entirely. Uh, there can be discussions, there can be agreement, there can be disagreement and um, instead of using those spaces for, uh, you know, kind of uh, a variety of ideas, uh, which might be totally extreme also, uh, why should you bow down to any sort of, uh, you know, uh, people who don't believe in the freedom of speech and expression, which is what Jaipur Literature Festival is all about. No, because Taslima well, Nasri. Zafariyab Jilani, Zafariyab Jilani, the question is, what is the provocation? Taslima Nasreen only said that some religions, both in the Hindu as well as the Muslim religions, there is not enough space for women. Women are treated differently and therefore she said there is need for a uniform civil code. Now that can't be a provocation for you to ask uh, uh, various or you, by you I mean the various Muslim organizations to go and ask the Jaipur Litfest to ask for a ban on Taslima Nasreen and the likes of uh, uh, Salman. Man Rashdi at such fora just because these are disputed personalities. What do you mean by disputed personalities? Just because they think differently from what you do? First of all, I may clarify that whatever I am saying, I am not saying on behalf of Muslim Personal Law Board because Personal Law Board is not at all concerned with this issue. So far as the demand of Muslim organizations is concerned, it is very much justified mm. because these two persons whom you, you have named, they have been abusing Islam, they have been criticizing Prophet Muhammad, they have no right to criticize and in this way abuse him. Have they, they, have they, have they, they have criticized have a right to Prophet say, Muhammad or they have they right to say that, that yes, unless there must Islam, be, unless Islam, Mr. Zafar, yes, 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 no, 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 unless, unless she has Islam, book on this, you don't no, know. No, I'm saying, what, do you have any objection to what she says today, Mr. Jafar Yab Jilani, when she says that unless Islam accepts criticism, Islam, no Islamic country can be considered secular and Islam will not evolve. Islam will not, and, and religion and practice of this religion will not evolve unless you are open to our criticism. Constitution, our constitution of India is the best document on secularism. The hmm. constitution of India permits everybody, hmm. but that does not permit anybody to denigrate other religion. Secularism does not mean that you have a right to abuse. No, secularism means that a state it has It is no her religion, religion too. Everybody has it a is her religion to too. And to observe Renuka Sane, it is Taslima Nasreen's religion, religion too. Why will yes, she denigrate yes, her own but, faith? But, but no she right can ask questions about it. 
Not only that, I, I, I think that you should Renuka allow her to say something and if you have a problem one. with it. Renuka Shahane, before you answer that one, I'd also like to add a question to that. Number one, it's Taslima Nasreen's religion too. What gives the Muslim clerics the right to take away her own religion from her, number one? <coughs> and number two, where is the award Wapsi Brigade? They come out on the slightest pretext of intolerance. Isn't this liberal intolerance that we heard from Sanjay Roy, who even said that we've given an assurance that we will look into the complaint of the Muslim groups, which is not to invite Taslima Nasreen again. Even an assurance to that impact, is that taking away uh, the freedom of speech of Taslima Nasreen and bringing out a new form of intolerance uh, into this entire society? I think it's a cop out, Navika. If you ask me, I'm really surprised by this because you know this is the kind of space where even extreme views should be given a chance to uh, you know kind of flourish and to be discussed. So uh, I don't see why Taslima ji should not be invited. A because some people feel that you know she's anti-Islam or whatever. That's a totally different issue. My issue is that. If anybody is saying anything which hurts your sentiment and you're talking about the constitution of India, you have a legal way to approach this. So I, I'm surprised that people just uh, kind of, you know, protest for no reason and then the uh, organizers of the festival I'm completely shocked by because it just goes against the basic tenets of what they are organizing this festival for. True. Uh, and Dr. Lubna, Lubna Sarwat, bringing in the other panelists one by one. Dr. Lubna Sarwat, do you disagree when Taslima Rasreen says, yeah. beat any religion, they are always against women? I believe in absolute freedom of expression and to curb rising intolerance in society and atrocities on women, education can play a major role. Is there something wrong in what she has said here? Or when she says that I don't believe in nationalism, religious fundamentalism, I believe in one world. I believe in rights, freedom, humanism, humanism and rationalism. Until Islam accepts criticism, no Islamic country can be considered secular. Whenever I criticize, people want to kill me. This is her point of view. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we should uh, read it very. Um, she's yeah. She's expressed what she wants to, and she has every right to do that. And uh, let us examine her points very clearly. She is talking about that. Uh, uh, Islam doesn't give certain things so we have to uh, be very uh, even when we are critiquing something I accept her critique but when we are critiquing we must understand whether we are critiquing Islam or Muslims hmm. because mu the we, as we see hmm. Islam is evolving the Quran the, which represents which is the speak of Islam hmm. the Quran is the speak of Islam now hmm. so as in the case of triple talaq also we have seen that Quran uh, lays down a very methodological procedure which is quite democratic and participatory <coughs> and very humane but on the contrary we see the Muslims not wanting to implement it and then the courts of India the High Court of Guwahati right from 1979 and then the Bombay High Court and then the Supreme Court all of these courts went on to endorse the procedure given in the Quran hmm. and uh, last but not the least it's Justice Krishna Iyer who has endorsed the entire procedure from the Quran yeah. and the Quran's verses have been read out and uh, kept in the orders Correct. now uh, contrary to the Supreme Court telling the Indian Muslims that you follow the Quran it is a Muslim personal law board and the Jamiats of the country who are telling that they, oh, it may be there, but then it is Sharia and etc. etc. You know what? The, there, uh, there's a quite misleading of the courts and the misguiding of the masses that is happening en masse here. Hmm. Now, putting this into Taslima Nasreen's uh, context here. Now, even she, when she is telling, she must be very clear about whether it's Islam that she's critiquing or Muslims of, who are coming out in the form of Shariat, so-called Shariat, you know, they don't, they hesitate to use the word Quran which the Supreme Court is using. But why are they, why are they not using that word? So, Taslima Nasrin should be very open in what she wants to be very vocal, not telling Islam or Shariat like the Muslim person are bored, but telling actually whether she's critiquing the Quran or whether she's critiquing the Hadith or the Sunnah. Well, she has no to be stage, more open no what stage has Taslima no? Nasreen criticized the Quran. Her views are how women are being treated yeah. in the uh, entire Muslim uh, world uh, is By something Muslim. that she has a yes, right to speak on. I agree on. with her. I agree with her.
and not just that not exactly, just that exactly exactly no has, not just that lubna sarwat what she also says is what she also says is when i talk about yes. women's rights i criticize religions that do not have equal rights for women hindu women in bangladesh do not get the freedom they have yeah, in india yeah I, i want to yeah and what kind of democracy is it is 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 your yeah. question so what she is saying perhaps exactly. you are, you are right in saying exactly. the methods exactly. or the practices and what is laid out in the scriptures they might be dichotomous the slima nasreen must be focusing on the way the practices are being inter interpreted by the clerics by those exactly. who are the self self declared custodians of law like we have somebody like molana kazmi here we also have others who who exactly. believe that this yeah. is how it should be whereas they say this is how you believe it should yeah. be it's wrong because it's divergent from how it is supposed to be and if taslima nasreen says that exactly. should a sanjay roy exactly. should a sanjay roy say i will bow yeah. to pressure by the uh, from those like the the, the jamaat e islami or the millat council or the all india muslim personal not law board all. and this not in white in india in uh, india should not be like this not at all in india should not be like this in fact the other day when we saw sharukh khan uh, bowing before the shivasana for his release of the rice film you know we felt so appalled and ashamed you know what are we actually talking about when the government is assuring sharukh khan of release of rice and protection why is he going to shiv sena hmm. who is not trying to bully this person okay so that <coughs> is how bad the situation right now is regarding freedom of speech now daslima uh, nasreen has every right to her opinion of course barring the constitutional uh, uh, constitution has given us a lot of freedom and at the same time it has given exceptions to the rules of freedom just as these people the freedom of religion is there but mm. it should not contradict with the humanitarian and the guiding principles of our constitution that is how the high courts and supreme courts also endorse the procedure of the quran because it's totally at par with the constitution of india but the muslim versal law board and the jamias are totally speaking something alien to the islam and alien to the constitution of india true so this yeah, is rubna sarwa just a small correction it was the mns Nasreen. and not the shiv sena the when you made the sharukh khan and rais reference it was the mns and not the shiv sena so just uh, because political parties tend to get sensitive mm -hmm. when you make such references but quickly uh, bringing it sayed inayatullah yeah, where yeah. do you stand on this sir should sanjay roy or and these platforms bar people like taslima nasreen or should they give a platform for people from all all thoughts to come and argue debate and and express their points of view <clears throat> now first of all what i feel taslima nasreen should not be allowed to get on that platform she she has no right she has no local standy and she and why? she has been no. checked out of the bangladesh why why does she not have a right to stand on that platform she does not know no no why does she not have a right to stand on that platform she is no, no. an author Please. this is yeah, a na na natural she should not be authors are she should not be she she, she is a mischievous she should not she she is a mischievous no, mischievous. Celebrated. no. Why okay, please why do you think that she does not have a right to go on that platform if you want to keep talking let you talk i will not talk no No, I, I, I will not let, let me talk. Let me talk. Yeah. You stop. Let me talk. Go ahead. Let me talk. After that, you talk. No. Whatever you want. Who you want to create some mischievous <coughs> here in India? You do it. That 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 is left to you. Say we we are Indians. We have constitutional right. We have our own fundamental rights. We can practice any religion. We can have our own things, and we are happy with all religion. We are living here as a secular. Hmm. But whereas the Taslima Narsin, she wants to create a problem, and she is using that platform. That should not be allowed. First of all, hmm. no. But that is that, your that point of view. Say, example, that is your point of say, view. Yeah, Why, should you the, uh, the your point of view? Why should you enforce your point of view? Why should you enforce your point of view? Let me ask you this. How well, say it? No, say it, Naya. Tola. Let me ask you this. Why should this is a festival? This is a platform for writers and people from across thinkers <laughs> yeah, from across me. the world who are invited. When you have invited somebody. why shouldn't you give them a fair listen and why should you stop from invite uh, somebody from inviting someone just because you do not want to listen to that who are you to decide that yeah can i respond to this molana please yes and and that 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 is different that is yes, different yes, and personally i am different say first of all listen to me she, she so should why not we listen to no, you why can't you listen to them the why must we here why don't you listen to, to lumna sir why, why, why is india? it that we have to listen we, to you we, we are living with who are you to decide that you have to listen to me i do not want to invite her who who are these people yes lumna sir lumna sir 
Now, yeah. now, 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 I would like to, uh, to the uh, let other me, let me ask the before, same before, before you get in Lubna Sarwat, before you get in Lubna Sarwat, I have with me no, in our studios Taslima Nasreen who has just she's joined us. Taslima Nasreen, author Islam. who was part of the Jaipur Literary Festival, is with us in our studios here in Delhi. Taslima Nasreen, Sanjoy Roy, the organizer of the Jaipur Lit Fest was met with some Muslim representatives. There were 25, 30 people who actually met him from various organizations, the Rajasthan Muslim Forum, Jamaat Islami, and Muslim Personal Law Board. And what has Sanjay Roy told them? Something that he's repeated to times now, what he has said is that we agreed that we should consider their request and that we are very sensitive to what minority fora have to say. Now, do you think the organizers of the Jaipur Lit Fest are giving in to minority pressure? Are they taking away from what this forum really stands for, which is free expression uh, of uh, ideas? It's a liberal forum. Are they showing, the, these liberals, are they showing intolerance, the Slima Nasri? <laughs> No, it is not the question of intolerance. I, okay. See, first of all, mm. let, let oh, he, She's answering. Taslima Nasreen is answering. Oh, in, in no way she can interfere uh, in our religion. After coming in back no from Jaipur Lit Fest. In Ayatollah, in Ayatollah Sahab, please hold on. Taslima Nasreen is responding to the question that I asked her. Yes, Taslima. I, mm, after coming back from Jaipur Lit Fest, I read in the newspapers that uh, um, that Sanjay Rai, the, one of the um, organizers of Jaipur Lit Fest, told the Muslim fanatics who were protesting against my presence in Lit Fest um, that he would reconsider or he will um, you know, not re-invite me from 2018 at Jaipur Lit Fest. I was really surprised that how uh, Sanjay Rai, one of the organizers who believes in freedom of expression, uh, could assure those those misogynist, anti-free speech, those mullahs that. Uh, Let me. He will not. Uh, he will. He will not invite me anymore. Only because those fanatics, uh, fanatics demanded for it. So I, um, I tweeted some of uh, you know. I also links of those news. But Sanjay Rai next day uh, tweeted that he did not say that. He did not ban me at Litfest. So, um, but we spoke to Sanjoy Roy just a short while ago, Taslima Nasreen, and what he told us is that in the 2018 uh, manifesto that they've given out, you're definitely not on the invitation list. Point number one. Point number two, he said that you were invited specifically for the book that you had written, Exile. The point he was trying to make is that if you do not write a book in 2018 or 2019 or 2020, there is no reason for him to invite you. Do you think this is a, a very soft approach that he's taking uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, on this entire debate? Or do you think he's deliberately trying to stay away from Taslima Nasreen after the minority groups have pressurized him? I don't know, but... Uh, I don't, uh, you know, all the writers who were invited at J uh, Jaipur Lit Fest this year, everybody published uh, a book, uh, you know, this year? I don't think so. All the writers who talked at Jaipur Lit Fest didn't publish a book. Maybe they published a book, uh, uh, you know, year before. So. Uh, is it the criteria that I have to publish a book to get invited uh, to be That's able exactly to be That's exactly what he invited? alluded to. And he said that you had not been invited for your previous books. You were only invited for exile, meaning probably thereby that at least exile was not such an insightful book where you had expressed uh, you know, issues about the Muslim religion that you have in your other previous books. 
You know, I have written 43 books. If, uh, if, Shanja, uh, uh, if the organizers of Joyful Lit Fest, uh, you know, do not want to invite me, you know, I cannot <laughs> ask them or request them or pressure them, you know, to, to, to invite me. But, uh, uh, you know, I speak my mind and they should decide actually whom they should support, me, uh, a writer who believe in freedom of expression, who believe in human rights and women's rights and uh, who believe in freedom of expression or those fanatic mullahs who do not believe in uh, free, freedom of speech and uh, you know who are against women's rights. I, I think that they should decide. And uh, it is very funny that those mullahs, they, they have nothing to do with those literature festival. It was not about that religious uh, festival, but they came and, uh, you know, th th they, they said that these writers should not be invited at Jaipur Lit Fest. The, the Jaipur Lit Fest has nothing to do with those mullahs. But how come they demanded? And then the, the organizers had to listen to them. And they had, they had to assure them, okay, they will, they will consider their request. How come they are part of the, are That's part the of point. That's the process? point. Kazmi Saab, yes. Kazmi Saab, Taslima Nasreen raises an important point. She says, A, those Muslim clerics did not have any place in the lit fest. Were they trying to arm twist the organizers? And if they were trying to arm twist the organizers, why should the organizers give an assurance in the first place that they will decide uh, on future course and they will look into the demand for not re-inviting Taslima Nasreen? Just because she is a free thinker, free uh, writer, and, and the forum for platform for thinkers and writers from across the globe that Jaipur Litfest is, should be misused in this manner? Let me clarify. First, we are not against freedom of speech. This is the very fundamental part of our democracy. But you are talking about the lady called the Sri Manasin. She's she, sitting right opposite Yes, you. yes. I don't <laughs> consider her birthday to talk to her. She has used filthy language against Islam, against Prophet and Prophet and the Aisha in her Lajja and so many books. No, 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 no. Let me complain. No, 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 Molana sir, I have I have a request to you, sir. I have a request to you, sir. Molana sir, I have a humble request. No, this lady. No, no, please, please. Molana sir, you might not, you might not want to consider Taslima Nasreen, but I will request you, Molana sir, do not disrespect any of our panelists. She, you have made an accusation. You have made a very strong accusation against Mr. Sleeman. Please, not please. At all. You have said that this she in her book, Bangladesh. she in her book, she please, 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 please. Molana sahab, listen to me. Molana sahab, listen to me. Molana sahab, I do not want to be disrespectful to you. I do not want to be disrespectful to you. Navika, one sec. Navika, one sec. Navika, one sec. Navika, one sec. No, no. Molana sahab, I do not want to be disrespectful. You said, you said, Taslima Nasreen, you said, Taslima Nasreen, Abuse, uh, use, abused Islam and also the Prophet. That's an argument. Yes. That's, Ms. Taslima Nasreen, that's, that's an allegation. One more of our panelists made some time back. I would request Can you I? to clarify that, please. Did you question the practices? Did you question the practices and the way some of these people, the fanatics, interpret Islam? Or did you abuse Islam and the Prophet itself? Please clarify that today on the news hour for once and for all, so that these people don't 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 uh, keep saying the same, uh, putting this argument again. In uh, Lajja, uh, the book um, was written in 1992 after uh, dem demolition of uh, Ayodhya Mosque, Babri Mosque in Ayodhya, when the Muslim fanatics attacked Hindu minority community in Bangladesh. So it has, the, in Lajja, I have not written anything about Islam, not written anything about Muhammad, or not written anything about Aisha that he claimed. He has to show me. Lajja uh, is not about Islam. Lajja is a, uh, is a book that I defended uh, minority community in Bangladesh who was attacked and who had to leave the country. 
So where is the problem, Kazmi no, Saab? Problem is here. Problem is here. No, no. no. So why do they say? Why do they say Taslima Nasreen? People like Molana Kazmi, like Syed Inayatullah, on the panel tonight, I did have know. said have said that you have abused Islam and you have abused the Holy Prophet. You 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 have abused the Prophet. From Please be with us. No, but that's what he has. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's what they claim you have said. Yes. So, are you calling them absolute brazen liars? Islam, Islam, Islam is not religion. Have you ever done that? No, you people understand. They have the. They have the temerity to say that you are not even worthy to be called and called the Muslim. Call the Muslim. Call the Muslim. Who is the Muslim? Who is the Muslim? This is what these people have said to us. Happily living in India as brothers and sisters. Man, where is Paul and Molana? Disturb us. Have we come well, to well, this stage? Well, Kazmi Saab, you no, need to see not be allowed. The, Im the implementation of Let her go to Bangladesh and say whatever she wants. Minute, but not uh, yet. Kazmi Saab, uniform civil court and, and like the demand for the uniform no, 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 civil court no, no, no. has come and it's an open debate in our society. If you want to so what if she also comes in and joins the debate? This lady is refugee in my country and there are rules and regulations. Kazmi Saab, this lady is refugee in my country and there are rules and regulations for refugees as well. They don't have any right to interfere in our internal life. Lupna Sarwan, Lupna Sarwan, Lupna Sarwan, Lupna Sarwan, Sarwath, yes, the point yes, is see, the point what is human right? Sarwath, that you uniform civil court is an ongoing yeah. debate in our society so if an so open free national, thinker yeah. writer one minute nobody is dictating it's she a discussion and a debate and she, she is saying she should come like many she other is people are saying it should some come some there, people. Is, there is there no, is a lobby which wants it to come to there is a lobby which doesn't want it to come Kazmi Saab, she, allow Lubna Sarwar to respond. Appeasing. Allow. Allow rulers of yeah. my country in order okay. to stay longer and longer. Okay, Let Lubna Sarwat, Lubna Sarwat, come in. Lubna Sarwat, the question is that there is yeah. an ongoing debate on the Uniform Civil Code. Can anybody in this country prevent? Taslima Nasreen from coming into it and debating the issue. She is only raising an issue and debating it on a forum, which is a forum for free thinkers. Of What's course. wrong with that? She is foreign national. Of course. Yeah, and I would like to respond here, please allow me to. Uh, one thing, yes, as you told Navika, Taslima Nasreen has every, every right to put, her, put forth, her, not just Taslima Nasreen, anybody in India, anybody in the world belonging to any religion, any caste across all walks of life can exactly respond on either the Quran or Islam or on the UCC. They have, each one of us have our own thought as free thinking people. Now coming down to the other various very important point that I want to put across through your channel to everybody is that when each of these Maulana brothers are trying to tell that uh, the she or Taslima has abused some Muhammad or Islam or Quran or Salman Razdi has abused, let us uh, let me put forth some very important verses from the Quran here. In the Quran, it is very clearly stated that the Prophet has been called a liar, Prophet has been called a possessor an imposter and a slanderer. These were the words used on Prophet Muhammad during his lifetime in the Mecca and Medina. So in the Quran it is clearly told that these are the words used on the Prophet but the Prophet never ever bothered about what people were telling about him. He just took it in his stride and went on telling about the truth and about good good behavior, honest behavior, about uh, uh, gender equality, about uh, uh, good governance. These are all the points that he always kept on exhorting on everybody irrespective of all the words that are mentioned in the Quran have been told of him. Hmm. So why are these people bothered if somebody they think that they have abused? Don't Where is the broad mindedness that Quran is exhorting the Muslims to be? Absolutely, point no, 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 no. Zafar no, no, no. Jilani, one Beautiful. minute Kazmi Saab, Zafar Yaab Jilani, Taslima Nasreen has a view on uniform civil code like many, okay, okay, uh, we'll go across uh, to uh, Mr. Saeed Inayatullah, Saeed Inayatullah Sahab, the question is, this is a literary fest, this is a Jaipur lit fest that we are talking about is a forum for free thinkers. She's not raised this issue in a rally that she's held somewhere. She's raising at a forum which is meant for see, free thinkers. See, first of all, they should the understand Islam is Why not a religion. Mm. <coughs> Islam is the way of life. That is what we are preaching. <laughs> And if let them okay. let them accept it or let them not accept it. We are we are not but let them not criticize. Sayyid Inayatullah. 
sir if you think that is the way of life then that's supposed to be a very broad minded yes. very very open very secular very inclusive way of life as naturally as, as, as lumna Islam, sir was just now said mind. when the prophet did not bother exactly, about what exactly. people called him as is stated in the holy book then why should you bother about what somebody writes and what somebody thinks if taslima nasreen says that yes. women are not being given equal rights right. as it na, as is professed in the as is professed in islam as as in as is professed in the way of life it that you claim then it's wrong sir wrong. it has to be corrected it's wrong it's got to be corrected taslima nasreen see do you do you not, not wonder to that those people who claim to be free thinkers those people who claim to be open minded those people today have buckled to people like sayed inayatullah civil law court they have buckled to people like molana kazmi who sitting with sitting with you in the studio but refuses to acknowledge you discuss is the is that not is that does not not worry with aslima nasreen and there are limitation for free speech let me mr aslima nasreen speak please molana saab then i'll come to you yes the question to you is why doesn't he even want to acknowledge your presence in the studio he's sitting in the same studio does that worry you no not at all i know them <laughs> they hate not women nothing to worry they hate uh, no no my uh, my question my question avika if you can uh, tell her is that that people like sanjay and roy and organizers of jaipur lit fest human rights are giving credence so to people like molana like kazmi this. and they are liars because i haven't so written is sanjay anything roy, about sanjay roy and people like the organizers of the jaipur lit fest are they giving credence to people like them who in any case want a, a complete repression of uh, the women folk within their own community you know sanjay rai um, actually kind of you know in maybe um you know prevented uh, salman rushdi from coming to jaipur lit fest in 2012 when the mullahs or this those those fill the fanatics opposed salman rush this uh, you know presence at jaipur lit fest at at that time in 2012 the organizers of jaipur lit fest bowed before the the mullahs so they had to continue it because once they bowed once they compromised with them so they have to now compromise in 2017 so i think that they should not have listened to them because they are the most progressive secular liberal people they don't need to compromise with this few mullahs who are that's the whole point once they've given in renuka shahani once sanjay roy and company had given uh, in me, uh, to the muslim here, community Navika. to the various Navika, pressure groups within the minority like groups this. renuka shahani Arao the fact that sanjay roy today again to says that because there was a book he invited tasima nasreen next year if there's no book he is not country. under any pressure to invite her again he's kept it completely open ended is he giving in to the pressure of the minority groups that have pressurized him is this what a free forum is all about is where is our award wopsy brigade and the entire political class that came out on intolerance by uh, a certain section today when intolerance is being shown to tasleema nasreen um the point is that as i already said it for me it's a cop out you know i mean for a free thinking uh, lit fest uh, this is not the attitude whether it was salman rushdi in 2012 whether it's taslima right now and uh, this whole uh, thing that you know if she writes a book we might invite her is just hogwash because many of the speakers who i think i have been uh, to the lit fest have not written books this year so i don't think that should be a criterion and i think uh, more and more uh, uh, liberal pla platforms like these should Should not uh, bow down to um, uh, you know radical, uh, very extreme uh, people with extreme opinions. True. I think we Ab should stick to our guns and go ahead and uh, have free discussion. Absolutely, and, and we are discussing. We are, and we are discussing the mindset change, um, Renu Kasane, about what Literature happened at Jaipur Lit Fest with the liberals bowing down to certain fanatics and radicals exactly. on the same day. when a sanjay roy has thought again is thinking twice about reinviting taslima nasreen a sanjay leela bansali has faced hindu fringe group attacking his shooting of the movie padmavati that's also happened in jaipur
So where are things coming down to, to one of the most hospitable places and, and most inclusive cultures, even within India, one wonders. And this is not a good sign of things to come. We have to wind up this debate on the News Hour Friday edition on that note. Thank you very much for joining us on debate number one. Debate number two on the other side.